Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about a product which revitalizes, nourishes and looks after dry, damaged hair which needs a little bit of a uplift in health. Perhaps it's a bit thirsty, it's a bit dry, perhaps you are using a lot of heat, perhaps you haven't been able to have your hair cut like us all throughout the pandemic with the amount of lockdowns we've had here in the UK. So of course looking after your hair you are maybe needing that little bit more conditioner, that more nourishment, but of course sometimes we may need a little bit more than just a normal conditioner or an oil or a heat protectant spray. We are talking about a intensive mask. Now, this here is by Osmo, and this is a nourishing treatment to breathe life and luster into severely damaged tresses. So it's an intensive deep repair hair mask. Now, I have had to purposely buy this small one here, and this was 100 mils. So I paid £3 for this, but in our house, in our family bathroom, we actually had a big one of these. So we had 1,200 mil. Now, it's in our family bathroom, it's been used by everybody, it's been used, um, and I kind of took for granted that I thought that it would always kind of be there. So I haven't used it for a little while. I used, I have used this about three times, but I haven't used our big container of it for a little while. And then I asked my mum where it had gone and it's all gone. And the actual container and everything was thrown out. So I wanted to keep the container and everything for this particular clip with me talking about it. So unfortunately, I haven't got you that to show, but you can actually still buy it on Amazon and it's around 10 pounds, I believe. So Amazon here in the UK, Intensive Deep Repair Hair Mask. I'm going to go into it in a bit detail, but it's absolutely fantastic and it really does pump nourishment, sort of that intense moisture and that health, that vitality and shine into your hair. So if you're looking for that and you've got, let me think, if you've got, uh, say, men and women, if you've got long hair, if you've got coloured hair, if you love using heat on your hair, curly hair, straight hair, this is going to be perfect for you. If you've got short hair, if you've got hair longer than mine, shorter than mine, it's going to be perfect because what you will not realise is that after you've used like an intensive treatment mask on your hair, you will not realise the amount of damage, the amount of daily wear and tear, and just what regular shampooing, perhaps you use a two-in-one shampoo or conditioner, perhaps your hair doesn't necessarily get that rich sort of nourishment, you would be surprised the difference what it makes. And actually looking after your scalp as well, because of course a well-balanced, moisturised, healthy scalp creates that amazing hair which we all need to look as good as what we want to. And if you want to keep styling your hair, then of course you've got to look after it as well. So unfortunately, as I say, I haven't got the big container, I've only got the small one. So this is 100 mils and I paid three pounds for this, but the big one is, it's actually about that big, it was in a big container, um, 1,200 mils, and I think that's for just under 10 pounds. And that lasted us for about nine months in this house. So I was a bit of a bit, bit sad to be quite honest that it's actually gone. And I asked my mum and it had been taken out and unfortunately it's been thrown away. Um, so unfortunately I don't have a container to show you, but if you have a look on Amazon and if you type in Osmo Intensive Deep Repair Mask, you will see what I'm talking about on there. You can buy a small one, which is what I've got here, or you can buy a large one. And I absolutely urge you, okay, okay, I don't urge you probably to buy the big one straight away because you might not like it but it's really really good so that's my thinking behind there and this to be honest will not last i've sh i've shaken it it doesn't it's not as full as what it is i've shaken it because when i was showing you um when i was sort of doing some recordings before and trying to show um you couldn't see the name so i had to sort of shake it sort of like mad to be able to bring the product to the front so you could actually see it here um but this type of product admittedly it looks it looks thick it looks gloopy it looks heavy and of course, you're gonna you're gonna get to my hair texture now, which is fine, super fine, but quite a lot of it. And it holds volume well if I use the right products. If not, it just sits heavy and lank and flat on my head. Now you may think, if you're using sort of intensive nourishing products like this, you may think, does it leave a sort of a cakey, heavy sort of sensation, um, like a almost like a cream-based product in the hair? You know, you can get those sort of pre-blow drying sort of volumizing products but actually they're just super super heavy so what you actually do is you spend all that time blow drying your hair causing all that damage and actually it sits really really heavy but big out at the sides yeah i've done that made that mistake not cool <laughs> does not look good does not look masculine at all so then you need to go back in the bathroom wash it all out and start all over again well of course this is all damaged because you've used the heat you've used the shampoo for washing you've stripped that hair away so 
I'm not saying that you would need to use this every day. At the moment, I've used this small one because unfortunately we haven't got any more, but I will be buying more. I've probably used this about twice a week, so I used it once last week, and I have used this once over the weekend, um, so yeah, about three times. So I'd say in about, over about a two-week period, I've used it nearly, I'm going to say nearly two weeks, I've used it three times. So, and it does make the difference. You can see from my hair that it's highlighted. It's grown out now, admittedly, but it's highlighted, and I do use heat on my hair. How do I use heat on my hair? So I blow dry my hair through roughly, and then on the ends, I just pass a straightener through just to sort of take that sort of kink out of the ends. But just so it makes it look nice and thick in the roots, and it looks super quite cool, I think, and sort of quite rough and quite undone. And then just pass a straightener through the end just so it looks super cool, super quite trendy, and I've got that sort of thickness feeling coming on, but not so it's sort of like a like a, a wedge of hair at the sides. That's why I use a straightener, but of course all these things take heat and they take the toll on the hair. Let's move on and talk about it a little bit more in detail. So let's tell you a little bit more information on the back here. So a nourishing treatment mask to help restore moisture and elasticity in the hair. Directions apply on towel dried hair from mid lengths to ends and leave for three to five minutes. For severely damaged hair, allow an extra seven to 10 minutes before rinsing thoroughly. So in total, you're talking about 15 minutes there, it's saying up to 20. So adding heat with the in will intensify the treatment. Okay, and it's got professional use only, but I think that's because it's a professional brand name, um, Osmo, and really, really pleased with this. And I've actually bought a conditioning spray from Osmo as well. Um, that's going to be coming up on my channel for review, and I've been really, really quite impressed with that. So keep, keep watching for that as well. Um, why would your hair be severely damaged apart from the absolute honest, uh, obvious? Um, so heat we know absolutely destroys your hair if you're using um heat protectants you're gonna really really cut that level of damage but ultimately you're still going to sometimes need something which is going to pump that intense nourishment into the hair this is where this comes in really really good um why else would you have severely absolutely sort of written off hair perhaps you think you've got to have it all cut off you haven't if you start sort of toning down number one on the heat and then the next biggest thing in the room, I think, is that I can sort of talk for myself here, is the highlights. And we're going to talk about this a little bit now as well. If you're someone which absolutely loves coloured hair, darker colours tend to be a little bit more conditioning. You may think, how on earth does he know? Because I've done it. Last year. Makes your hair feel really soft, sleek, very, very nice. Now, natural hair, of course, you've got that real sort of natural texture, the natural colour. You don't necessarily need to worry. But with bleach, yeah, that's another another whole huge board game, let's put it that way. So I've had my hair highlighted a handful of times now. And gradually, what I have found is that my natural sort of characteristic of my hair is changed from a real soft, uh, flat, shiny to the point where it's real quite floppy, where it's really healthy and full of sort of health. And we've gone away from that. And then even then, even when I didn't have bleach in my hair at all, I would always use conditioning sprays. Um, I've always grown up in a family bathroom with loads of different hair products from um, from parents, from um, older brothers, that type of thing. So I've always been very fortunate to have a bathroom full of all different uh, hair products. It's the same with skincare. I've always had sort of loads to choose from. Um, but the topic of bleach. That's when you need to really, really up your game. So, for example, the highlights, when I first had it, didn't really notice the sort of, I don't want to say damage, but theoretically, it is damage. It is damage. I didn't notice it at first, but then when I had it a couple months later, I started to notice the ends of my hair was really starting to change. They became almost quite stiff, and they had sort of a mind of their own, sort of like they would, it, like it would go to bald hair. If I had a little bit of hairspray with it, or free spray, it wouldn't sort of move, so I kind of lost the natural character of the hair. Then I think, as I had that done around Christmas time, I had it cut, so then again, I didn't really notice it. So, of course, the importance of regular hair cutting and having those trims are really, really important. If you can't, this is really super cool for that as well. It's not heavy, it's light, and it looks after the mid lengths, the ends, and right to the tips, uh, and to the, the roots as well, what I'm trying to say there, and your scalp. If you've got a real uncomfortable scalp, just of course approach products like this with caution, because they are rich, they are intensive. For me personally, they don't have any effect on my scalp at all, and I do have a very sensitive nape of my neck. Um, 
but just as I say, always approach with caution, like I think that common sense approach. But for me, it hasn't given me any issues at all. Um, going forward, um, just going back to talking about the bleach, when I later, sort of the latest time when I had, uh, had, had the bleach put through my hair, I noticed that it really did change the characteristics of my hair. So um, I probably won't be having that, and I probably will be leaving that well alone. I like the grown out look. I think that looks super cool at the moment. It actually makes it look thicker with the darker roots. That's a bit of a tip there for you as well. But what I found is that it, it, it changed the sort of the integrity of your hair. So therefore, I've needed to use things like this. That's why I've been reviewing it more and more about honesty. I'm not going to say to you that bleached hair isn't fantastic. It looks super cool. So it looks absolutely awesome. But it does damage the hair and it does change sort of what you're used to. So I kind of miss my sort of natural sort of real super, super, super healthy hair without having to do too much to it. Because this is brilliant because it puts it back. But of course, you've got to use it again. Whereas if you've got your natural hair and you haven't had bleach through it, you don't have to use that. It's just every now and again if you feel like it. But what I suppose I'm trying to say is if you do have coloured hair and you do have bleach hair and you think your hair is quite soft now, use something like this because it will absolutely transform your hair. Um, and you can really get that sort of feeling back into your hair almost as though that it's that virgin hair. It hasn't been touched. It hasn't been sort of obliterated with colour and heat, I suppose, what I'm trying to say. Because even though when you've sprayed hairspray of your hair or a shine spray and it looks super healthy, is it underneath? Only you'll truthfully be able to answer that. Do you look after your hair? Do you nourish your hair with the right conditioners, with the right heat spray, with the right leave-in spray? Do you ever use a repair mask in your hair? I'm a young man, why would I ever bother? When you've had colour in your hair and you go to start looking for things to be able to put that nourishment back into your hair, then yes. I was quite fortunate. This was actually my family bathroom. My mum, she has coloured hair, absolutely amazing hair. Um, very, very super long. She's used this occasionally, absolutely. And then I started using it and it's just brilliant. So ultimately, that's what we're trying to say here. Nourishment, nourishment, nourishment into your hair. And of course, this really, really cool product. So I've really, really liked that. I hope you have a look for it. If I was you, I wouldn't pay the three pounds for this. I'd pay the 10 for the large one because how good it is, you'll want to keep using it more and more and more. Remember, I am not represented by this company at all. I have no association with Osmo whatsoever, and this product, certainly not. If I find a product and I really, really like it, then I will shout about it. Just the same as I find a bad product, but this one is a really, really good product. Okay, so I hope you've really enjoyed that. I certainly have. There is just one thing which I would like to actually just pick on, which I've just come across my mind, is the ingredients. Of course, because where does this nourishment come from in our hair product? Well, very often it can be the oils, which is in the leave-in mask. So, for example, very often what you will find is uh, almond seed oil. You will usually find in that jojoba seed oil. You will find all sorts of nut oils and fruit oils as well. Coconut oil is very, very common as well. And all of these things reverse that sort of damaging process, the effect. They don't get rid of it. Some products can be quite heavy and cakey because they mask it. But you want something that's going to give you that natural feeling of softness and health in your hair. This is why I like this, because you get that natural sort of health from the product. You can feel that there's not a product left in your hair afterwards. You can feel that it's just really trying to work and sort of create those real nice structure bonds in the hair again. So if your hair is breaking or if your hair is looking dull or if it doesn't really have a shine, it looks quite dull. This is going to really try to put everything back together, the moisture, the health, the vitality in the hair. So that's why I just wanted to pick up on some of the products in here as well. So we have got... Uh, there with me. So we've got jojoba seed oil in here. We've got, uh, forgive my pronunciation, patchouli, patchouli, <laughs> forgive me for that, oil. Um, we have also got <laughs> yang yang extract. We have also got, so you get what I'm trying to say. There is a whole bunch of oils in here. There's hydrogenized soy protein in here. So there's all sorts of really good, <laughs> I can't believe I just said that on it, there's really good healthy products in this Osmo Intensive Deep Repair Mask and I've really liked it, it's really made such a difference to my hair and I hope that you try this and I really really hope that it makes a difference for you as well. Thanks very much indeed for sharing, uh, your, sharing this clip with me. Um, I've really enjoyed doing this one and I hope I've given you some tips to think about of intense nourishment, about coloured hair and certainly this product here. 
Okay, thanks very much indeed for watching, and until next time, we will see you then. Bye-bye now.